Okay, so let's start with the modeling of this. So I'll, go, I'll hit space bar, I'll hit space bar on this. I'll go to my side view. I'll hit F on my keyboard to frame into the selected, selected image plane. On my outline now, you notice that I have the image image plane. I have the image plane on the outline now, as you can see. Okay, maybe I should temporarily hide this guy. So I want to remove this grid. This grid is kind of disturbing me. So I go to show. I click on grid. So I'll uncheck that box. So I'm going to go to my create button. Create fully primitive. Turn interactive creation on. Then I'll go and click on cube. So now I can draw out how. Can draw out how I want this piece to be. Uh, maybe roughly around here. Yeah, roughly around here should be fine. Drag out something like this. The space bar. Can dra no, dragging this out. Set the height or the depth for this. I'll go to my perspective. Trying to check the thickness of this. I go to my scale to you know, squash this down to around somewhere something like this. Yeah, something like this should be fine. So something else is fine. Maybe a third bit more. This is fine. Okay. Just trying to figure out what what would work. This is fine. Go back to my perspective view. I'll turn on wireframe. So I have this properly aligned up here, which is fine. So I go to my I go to my um, vertex mode. Hit Q to go to my selection tool. So I can start lining this up. As it should. Uh, I'm thinking I should add like some kind of edge loop at the center of this. Oh, but as let us do this. Drag this around somewhere like here should be fine. Select this guy. Drag this like so. Put this around here. Okay. Maybe up and forward the bits. That should be fine. Now the reason why I'm doing that is that I'm trying to maintain trying to maintain this quad in front of this. So going back in here, I can start making this match up a bit more. I drag this up here. So now I need to add some insert edge loops in, in inside of this. I go to our old shift. I would um old shift. Right click on old and drag this to. Okay, let me be on edge mode. Right click on old. Insert edge loop, drag it to the box, multiple edge loops. Let me do like a four. So I have four of this in here now. Selection two, vertex mode. I can begin to align this properly. Okay. I'm not trying to get the overall shape. I'm not right now. I'm not too concerned about if this is smooth or not. But I'm trying to get the overall shape. Later, I can add some some more edge loops to kind of make this fit more into the overall shape. I'm just just fixing and pulling things. 
checking this from this angle to be sure if it's everything that's selected it is front and back which is fine okay yeah i can use my double click, double click on this multi cut to uh set this let's see i put this around three i'll come in here and click to add more vertex mode select this guy so my move to drag this where it should be now i'm taking my time to properly line this up as it should be okay we're almost done yeah i should drag this guy down a bit more then with this guy i can pull this out kind of get something that sits around here Okay, that's fine. Hmm, checking this correctly to see. Let me raise this up a bit more. We we'll have this aligning properly. Now we need some more. We need some more in here. Guessing I need one year on one year. So I can do that with my multi cuts. Hold control, add one year. Hold control, add another one year. Then with my let me use my insert edge loop now. Edge mode selection to old shift, right click and old. Uh, my insert edge loop. Let me see how many we need in there. Okay, two should be fine. Two should be fine. And add those in the Q go to selection to. And I can properly begin to match this. Okay. Uh, thinking of this. Uh, okay. Mm, I go to face mode. Let me go to face mode. Select all this face. Hold control and deselect this. Now if I should go to my perspective view you, you realize that just this back face is selected as you can see let me darken my shader a bit more attribute editor it's my lambert darken this a bit more a bit more okay now i'll go back to my side view and then i'm going to do an extrude let me collapse this click on the extrude to pop out soon click on this switch i'm kind of pull this out all the way in here okay that's fine that is fine we can live with this Okay, let me undo that. I think this needs a bit rotation. I'll move this forward out a bit. Okay, that's fine. Now, if I should go to my perspective view, taking a good look at this to be sure if everything is working correctly as it should, which I believe it is. Okay. Just a few things need some more tweaks. Like for example, let me let me save this project quickly. O one. knife 01 in this knife series this is our first knife piece okay 
great okay this is fine so I want to, I want to use my use my multi code to my multi code to I want to add some edge loop around here something around here yeah okay that top the top is a bit rounded you know a knife the top is a bit rounded so let me let me give it more spacing maybe a bit more spacing for that piece somewhere around here should be fine okay okay down here also that didn't show up as it should okay now if you should smooth this let's do another one in here if I should hit 3 on my keyboard to smooth this now I'm getting something like this which is pretty good like this should work now the only thing I need to do now is to go to my side view the point mode I need to select all this something like this down here and I will deselect all of this checking my perspective view trying to figure out where I should, I should adjust Okay, this is fine. I go to my scale tool. What kind of scale? Scale that bottom piece closer a bit. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, object mode. Clicking out, yeah, that's nice. Sharp as, as it should be. Okay, not bad at all. Maybe I should select this. Maybe I should do it a bit more on this piece on this edge maybe a bit more maybe a bit more on this edge also okay maybe this also should also appreciate it that a bit more something like this I'm not going too crazy on this Aha, better. Okay, that's fine because from um, from far view is still going to look good. I just want to get that kind of transition at the tip to make it look more uh, cylinder. As in cylinder, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Not the cylinder here, but this one that's kind of slim at the at the edge. Make it slim at the edge. I think that's a better word to use. Okay, so that's fine. So now we have that transition, as you can see. That transition is in there. As we want it to so the next piece we're going to try to work out let's see I don't know if things are going out of place let me select yeah I think these things should still are where they should be okay this is where they should be so now this guy now now since I already have side view I feel this shape is I feel this shape is a little bit more cylindrical than you think it is. Uh more almost like almost like a rounded shape, but not really. But we have some kind of sharp corners here. You can see a bevel around here. You can see a depth up here, an height up here, then another bevel down here. Same thing we have up here, we have down here. I, I can count like 
one side one two then we have three four then more like eight sides so we're going to be creating a cylinder that will have eight sides that we can use to work this out so let's uh now what should we yeah yeah our cylinder should be directly in our front view so this is our front view our cylinder should be resting in the front view so i'll right click on old shift shift right click on old i'll click on cylinder then draw something like this set the height so i have something in here now we kind of drag this in here okay uh, let me go to the editor Pulley cylinder I will do a subdivision should be so the subdivision should be around 8 I think this is uh, kind of having everything on this okay okay i think we can we can work with this so i'll remove i need to remove this seriously need to remove this i'll move this face so i'll remove this face delete that face go to object mode i'll save this okay that's fine um okay 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 uh go to object mode okay i'll select this i'll slap that down slap this down again should be getting something like this I'll scale this yeah it's exactly what I'm going for this is fine yeah this is fine okay so then let me kind of match this properly on my reference so I tend to scale this down this out okay uh, that is fine I have this where I want it not bad at all so now I'm going to go to edge mode select all this edge the select hold control to deselect the other sides so I need to have an extrude ah, yes Yeah, I don't even just push this out. Push this out like so. And push this down here. So I want to get this kind of at the tip of at the tip of this piece. Which is fine. That's fine. I have this where I want it to be. Okay. Now I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Just thinking. Maybe I should... just maybe i should um, work it half of this yeah that's exactly what i'm going to do so let me go to object mode isolate this guy let me do add a cross let me add a cut across this enter to apply that go to face mode selection to turn up caps lock select this I'll have a delete on that. Okay. Uh, may maybe, maybe I will just have something that goes across. Something that goes across like this. Okay. 
okay one two three four four so awkwards that's perfect okay back to this view Q to go to my selection to now I can start working on this a bit more mm, okay let's add some let's add some south edge loops for this some south edge loop for this more of a bent no streets I feel I should let these guys and scale to scale this up a bit more okay fine uh, like this should be fine you okay, know let's leave it as it is then let me see okay this is fine this is fine okay I'll go to my old sh okay edge mode shift and hold insert edge loop And let me add like a six. Okay. Selection two. No, no, six is a bit, is a bit too much. Let's start with four. Okay. I would. Select these guys, remove to uh, move this up. I just want to have some kind of some kind of good enough spacing for this. Okay, maybe since we have this here, I can just do something like yes. This 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 piece should sit right in here. Just like this should sit right in here. Kind of following this pattern, the top of that pattern. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Do something like this in here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to deal with this. Okay, let's just let's just deal with that now. So let this to push this back. This should be here. Right, this should be here. This and this should fall back a bit. Okay. Not bad at all. In ZBrush, we're still going to be detailing this, detailing this a bit more to look more realistic. But for now, let's have something that kind of sits where it should be. Uh, push this guy in here. Push these guys. Okay. Okay. I'll do a save on this. Uh. I think we need one cut in here, so use my multi cut, add one in here. Selection to move to drag this around here and kind of position this guy here. For this piece, that's, that's fine. I'm gonna make this seat. Okay, okay. I feel I 
feel I should still work on this a bit more. You see. Uh okay. Let's work on that a bit more. Let's see what we can do in here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can still work with this a bit more. I see some kind of transition around here. So I'm going to um, with the multi code soon. Let me add. Let me drop in one here. Drop in one at the top. Okay, as you can see, it's affecting here also, which is cool. I need to drop one here also. Okay, my selection to selecting this and dragging this back out. Selecting this back down. Back down. It has some kind of irregularity to this. Okay. That is you can use to maintain that flow. Maybe it's this guy that needs to go all the way here. No. But let's leave it like this. In, in ZBrush you can correct that. We just need we just need the we just need the base form of this, just the base. We need the base of this. The base should do just fine. So I would um right out of the box. I'm just going to I feel I should bevel this. Yeah, I think going going for bevel is a better option. So edge mode, double click on this edge. Uh, I think bevel is gonna be a pretty bad idea in here. I don't want to mess up this. I don't want to mess up this flow. I don't want to mess that up. I do not want to mess that up. So I think the best option is to go with the multi cut soon. Add cut line here. One around here. Yeah. I think that's, that should be fine. Uh, okay. I added one on top of that piece also. Into add one here also. Okay. Great. I'll save this. Okay. For the top, definitely need one that goes across like so. I think that should go across down here also, which is fine. That's fine. Okay. This is fine. So I'm going to. So next, we're going to do is to mirror this to the other side. Nope. Before I do that, we need one more edge loop across. I believe so. Even though that piece is completely covered, but we still need one edge loop around here. Save that. So let's um, not be a good time to mirror this over. Object mode. Selection to right click. Hold shift, right click, and hold. Do a mirror. Turn off cut geometry. E. Do some adjustment on the offsets. Hold control to make the adjustments. Trying to make making sure ah no 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 definitely not we do not we do not want this need this to be open 
you know, I know, I know that no open piece like this. So we leave this as it is. So we'll delete history on this. Selecting this guy. Uh, we can move this. Let's see. Okay, selecting this guy. Center pivot. Move to. Let's put this at the center of this. Okay. We scale to squash this in a bit more. And if I squash that too, too much, nah, I think this is perfect. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine as it is. And this is fine. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this this is this is this is fine. Think we need I need to Okay. So I will do um let me check this from this view. I have this guy, this guy. Yeah, I need to remove this edge loop. Double click on that edge loop. This edge loop needs to go. It has got to go. I think that's the wrong one. I think that's the wrong one. First, let's do something like this first. Let's push the height of that guy up a bit more. I'll deselect anything within this range. My skill to can pop that guy up a bit as it should. I think this is the guy that needs to be deleted. Control delete on that. Okay. I think this guy also control control delete. I think I'm in the right spot now. Yeah, definitely I'm. I definitely I'm in the right spot now. So the actual place that needs that multi chords it's going to be somewhere around. Let me look at the reference image again. Okay, it's going to be somewhere around here and here. So let's do a smooth on this. Now that that edge is just too sharp. Hmm. Let's do something at the far corners of this. Yeah, I think this is fine. Something at like the far corners should be fine. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so now we can start making some more adjustments to this. Okay, I'm just thinking. Just looking at this again, I believe this should be a bit wider, a bit wider the tip, a bit wider there. Select this accurately and adjust this. Just want to, I just want to flow that. Go with that flow. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay, I think I can almost live with this. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll save this. So we have a good edge in here. We have a good, good flow. Okay. Object mode. Maybe we should do a little expansion of this. Should be fine. Okay. All right. Guessing a bit more. Okay, that's fine. So now do we okay now we need to add some let me save this. We need to add some thickness to this guy. It's one. We need to have some measure of thickness. So I'm going to select these two guys and then I would I will group those control G to group, control D to duplicate. Ctrl H to hide that. So I have that as my backup and I'll do a save. Okay. So let's just give this some thickness. I'll just click on extrude. Come in here, hold control. Oh no, there seems to be an issue with this. Seems to be an issue with this mesh. Oh God. Uh, so one of the crazy things that happens to a mesh when you're working, working on it, Maya can be crazy at times. Even though you feel you're doing everything correctly as you should and you have, it still kinds of acts weird in some really annoying and crazy ways. Let me do this. Let me control shift to shift H to review this control H to hide this let me through this original piece instead uh, okay okay face mode select this uh, I still selected face mode select all this face do an extrude let me push this guy in yeah better i think i think it was my duplicate, duplicated piece that has, that has an issue so i'm using the original piece right now and the original piece seems to be working correctly without any weird pinching and weird extrusion so i'm pushing this in i'm putting pushing this geo in something like this is fine Clicking out, select all this face. I go to mesh and I'll do a reverse. Okay, now if I should smooth this, should have something like this. So I need to, um, I hate it when it does this. Anyways, we just to fix this, those piece pushing out. But let's, let's just add a, use a multi cut to add our edge loops. Hopefully, when we smooth, they should correct themselves. And one in here. Uh, smooth, yeah. Uh, almost there. I completely hate it when it does this. So let's just let's just fix that. Let's just fix that. Um, I'm going to my vertex mode. I'll show you how to fix one region. Then on your own you can fix the menu one. So I'm selecting just this vertices shaded mode. Scale to no. Undo that. Undo that. Uh, I think it's my move tool. I'll do I'll do a better job and do that. Crap! I need to select them individually. This sucks. 
So, um, let me select select this guy. Push that up. Pushing those up. Select these guys. Like this guy. Nope. Maybe it's an edge thing. Should be an edge thing. Let's let's go with the edge. It's not really an issue in my in ZBrush actually. I can just let me see. There's no issue actually in ZBrush. I can just move that out. Let's move that out in ZBrush. Let me see. Let me try as much as possible to get this looking right. And do this can be really frustrating. Uh, I think I'm just going to going to do this safely in ZBrush. I'm not waste any more time on this. I can do this safely in ZBrush. I just go in there and just smooth that. That should fix the. That should fix the topology quite better. Oh, look at the guy we're looking for. So just put this down a bit more. Just need more spacing in there. So now you can see how I'm fixing this. Uh, push. I push this. Yeah, push this. Push this out. Ah. So I fix that. So just to fix the other part like that. Select. Selecting these guys. And push this down. That should fix. That should fix it. So yeah, uh, that's a bit. This is better. We're fixing this. Let me just push these guys down. Okay. This and this should come out a bit. Okay. So I'm sure you guys get the idea already. Push these guys up. Select this to push this out. Select this. Okay, that's even better. So I'll save this. So that's fine. So in the next lesson, we're going to be adding some more, adding some more definition to this by adding some more geometry that we can sculpt in instead of ZBrush. So so far so good. So far, so good. This is what we have. This is what we have. Not bad at all. The main fun happens in, happens in ZBrush. But in the next lesson, we're going to be adding the next chapter. We're going to be adding this. We're going to be adding the geometry for this piece. It's, it's not going to be as, as detailed as this in, in ZBrush. In Maya, definitely not. Then we're going to add this piece in here. Another piece in here. Another piece in there, and uh, kind of adding these bands one, two, three, four. Add those bands, and then we're going to UV unwrap that or unfold that, and then import that to ZBrush where the refund begins. So, I'll see you guys in the next chapter.